Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I thought I would make a video uh, on a green juice. So right here, I got like the ultimate green juice. Uh, lemon ginger blast has been known as. And so uh, this is gonna be super awesome green juice because uh, my mom's feeling a little, you know, uh, pink eye, I guess. Anyway, this is gonna be for me and I'm making it extra big. I'm gonna share it, give her a little bit. So uh, that's why I got so much. This isn't normally one portion, but, uh, but it could be. My, why not? I would drink all this by myself for sure. So uh, I'll go over what I got going on in this. Um, as a base, cucumber. Okay, I've got about half of a um, stock of cucumber. I've got a cucumber. Like I said, I have a cucumber and this is celery. So whatever, you guys are probably laughing because uh, this is celery. And I, and I didn't know that. But uh, I'm learning folks, celery right here. Celery, one cucumber, that's essentially um, kind of the base of this. And um, meaning that these are kind of neutral, um, high water content fruits that, that work well. Well, this is a fruit, the, salon, the celery is a vegetable. And I've pre-washed all this stuff, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you guys what's up here. This um, is the next little key. This is a great flavor agent to the green smoothie. Helps it all blend up really nice. And I almost uh, don't wanna make a green smoothie unless I got some fennel. So this is some fennel. I pulled off about three pieces uh, or so of the fennel. And then I got some more uh, off the base of that. So about half of the, um, the whole bulb of fennel will work good for a juice. Um, also in here, I've got a beet. This is a golden beet. Red beets are good too. Uh, real good for the blood. The red beets are good. Uh, they didn't have any red beets. So I went with the golden beet. And I think the golden beet's gonna go really cool in this uh, green juice because the red just dominates it. It turns into a red drink. And, and, that, and that, that can be a little more appealing to some people than a green drink. But uh, anyways, I've got the golden one. We're gonna do that. It's probably gonna be a, a nice green color when it all comes out. I got some um, cilantro here and just a little uh, handful, maybe a third of, the, of a bushel of cilantro. And that's just got a really nice flavor. If, if you like cilantro, increase this, this amount, you'll love that. And it's really going to help um, in, in the whole healing, cleaning out the body. Cilantro is fantastic. So I definitely got that in there. If you don't have some of these ingredients, you can leave them out. But uh, like cilantro would be an optional, but it's fantastic. So I encourage you to try it out. Um, the cilantro and the celery, boom. Okay, and then we gotta have some sweet in here to help balance it out. Uh, we, we're doing a lot of uh, vegetables. You know, I got a cucumber in here, but that's not very sweet fruit. So sweet fruit, I got a couple apples. I think these are galas, um, but really like a Granny Smith apple, uh, Golden Delicious. Those are good too, those tart tart ones. These are a little sweeter. And uh, I wanna make sure that my mom uh, likes this. So I'm trying to kick it to the sweet side as much as possible. So I'm also adding in a pear. Um, one pear, two apples. That's gonna give us uh, the nice sweet bump. Kinda of offsets uh, some of the bitter notes of the, of the veggies. And we haven't gotten into those bitty, bitter veggies but uh, in this one, I'm throwing in some kale. This is again, kind of an optional one. Um, the dandelion green here would be more of your staple uh, green to add to this particular recipe, but uh, kale works just as good. And so I'm not using a lot of kale, I just grabbed a couple pieces just to uh, offset, uh, add a little variety and try, some, try something new. So this is something cool. When you get these beets and you go to the grocery store and you buy the beets, usually you'll see the beets sitting there by themselves, okay? Or they're sitting there with these fat greens on them. Get the ones with the fat greens on them. And I just pulled the greens off, wash this really good. Does this get dirty? And you gotta wash it real good, like scrub it, get the dirt off because if it goes in the juicer, you're gonna get the grainy, 
it ain't gonna be good. So this is like, this is the one you gotta really, really watch out for, the beet, um, if you're adding that. And the, the greens, I just removed the greens. I've got uh, some really nice looking greens right here. These are the beet greens, they're totally edible. Um, and, then, and in fact, I'm gonna add them to the juice, so that's just fantastic. Definitely get the beets with the greens on them. They are, uh, they're in the same family as Swiss chard. So, you know, you're, you're kind of getting two for one. You're getting like a little Swiss chard and you're getting some beet. And then this is the herb. This is kind of the magic tonic um, healer herb, another good cleansing herb. Uh, it's gonna help clean mucus out of the body, open up the blood with the blood flow. These herbs, this is why you do it for this kind of green juice. So you want, this is dandelion greens. This is kind of skimpy. Uh, but I've added, like I've got the beet greens in here, I've got the uh, kale greens, so I went a little smaller on my portion of uh, dandelion green. But that's say this would be your staple green if you didn't have the kale or the beet greens, and just probably double this amount if that was the case. And uh, one other thing, to make this a true healing drink, we got the ginger, so the ginger's fantastic, and a lot of people uh, might have an aversion to the ginger because it's got a real spicy taste. So um, maybe for them, definitely I'd encourage getting the ginger in there, but you could just cut it down to like maybe a piece about that big. And I love the ginger, so I'm like tripling that amount. And, and even more, I mean, it definitely could do some more ginger than this, but uh, it's gonna mix real well um, with the greens. I think I'm gonna have a nice spicy, some sweet. So. Uh, here we go. I'm gonna get get this show on the road, and I got a juicer since this is the first time I've made a juicing video. This is like my staple juice, so this is the number one recipe that I want to share. And this uh, juicer is the Breville, um, 99 bucks. Fantastic juicer, you know, beginner juicer, whatever. Everybody should have one of these. It does. Uh, does fruits really well, the uh, apples and stuff like that. It's not so fantastic on the greens, there's better juices out there, but 99 bucks right here, you're gonna be super happy with what you get. So I'm gonna kick it up, it might get a little loud, uh, and we'll juice it up, and I'll just kinda start with the base, and then I'll build it up, and this is gonna get full. I got a lot of juice here, so I know I'm gonna fill up more than that. Little pitcher, so here we go. I don't think the order matters too much, but I'm kind of um, OCD about it, I guess. So I like to set it. That's the fennel. The fennel takes pretty easy, straight up. Just like that. I'm about at that halfway point, so I like to kick in the fruit, kind of get the fruit in the middle. This juice is great, you don't have to cut the apples up, just throw the whole thing in there. Super easy. Okay, filling up a little bit here. It's like a magic. Okay. When you do the uh, the small greens like this, try to get them all in a bunch so they hold together and they don't get slung around in there as much. Mm. It's 
see I was trying to get all of that in there. And this works better if you can do that. is what I said at the beginning of the video, so what would this be without a limit? Uh, the lemon's pretty strong, uh, and it really comes through in the drink, so you can use half a lemon. You could use, uh, I'm gonna use the whole lemon. And uh, there's a couple things you could do. You could just stick the lemon in there, boom, and it's just gonna take it. Or you could peel it. Um, either way, it's going to work pretty good. I'll go ahead and peel it just to show you guys how I like to peel the. Uh, let's see here. Let's just try to get a good camera angle. All right, sorry guys. I don't know how that looks, but I'm, I'm trying to get used to this. So. Uh, I'm going to start cutting a flat top off the, off the top and the bottom so it sits flat nicely on our uh, cutting board. And then just going around, I try to keep the pith, the white part, and just cut off the yellow. Because there is actually some, you know, nutrition in this pith part, so uh, totally don't want to just rule it out. And like I said, you could throw this whole thing in there whole. When you do, you get uh, you get the lemon zest. Oh, there's the camera. I'm talking down here. You get the uh, you know you get the lemon zest. So that might be too much lemon. I'm afraid that it might be too much lemon for my mom. And. Uh, I really do like the, the lemon flavor, so I think you gotta get kinda used to it. So bam, there we go. Back to the floor. That's it. That's it. Thanks guys. So, before I say goodbye, let me get it all going here together. You can see I've got a pretty good amount. I don't know if there's a marker on here. Uh, I've got a little over a liter of um, green juice. That's about 45 ounces. That's yeah, quite a bit. And like I said, I would drink that all day long by myself. Uh, but I'm going to share the wealth, share the love. I do want to stir this up. So we get all those flavors infused with each other. My trusty green juice cup. Typically about once a day, I'll drink about that much juice at least. So you can see how much extra I have from what I normally do when I make this, but you know, Certainly not complaining about having too much juice by any means. Clean up, that's simple with this thing. That's probably another video. Who cares about the cleanup? The thing is, it's pretty easy. It's pretty simple. I did a little prep work. I washed the vegetables, washed the fruit. Oh, and that is so so well balanced right there. I, I can tell that that kicked the uh, sweet part up using those gala apples and the pear. Lifted, lifted the sweetness. It's just almost this pleasant neutral taste. A little bit of the uh, uh, celery and the cilantro kind of punches through, but everything else stays pretty cool. Mm. 
Wow, that's one of the best ones I've done. So I'm glad I got that on camera. Anyways, thanks for watching. Green juice, lemon ginger glass, baby. Peace.